Hi there, my name is McKenna Barlow. I'm a PM on the .NET Tools team, and today I'm going to talk to you about conversational app and code assessment in Azure Migrate. So Azure Migrate Application and Code Analysis Tool is a tool for application-level static analysis for .NET and Java replatforming scenarios. What it does is it scans at the source code level through your solution and identifies code patterns, API usage, config file contents, et cetera, that when you move to Azure might be problematic. It's a really easy way to identify red flags and see what work is ahead of you so that you can plan it out effectively. We have multiple ways to run the tool. The first is the command line tool, which is a .NET SDK tool, super easy to install. The second is the VS extension, which I'm going to be showing you my demo in Visual Studio today. In terms of types of dependencies identified, when you run the tool for analysis, you will get a report with all of the dependencies and issues found in your code. So external dependencies tend to be the biggest challenge when replatforming to the cloud, but we also can identify dependencies impacting the ability of the app to scale, for example, in memory caching, as well as opportunities to take advantage of new features once you are on Azure. So how you manage secrets, Azure Key Vault, Azure App Configuration, stuff like that. There are lots of different types of issues found in the report with various severities. An issue is basically something that's likely to be a problem when replatforming, or it might just be something to review. Mandatory issues will likely block replatforming if not addressed. Potential issues might block. They require developer review, however, and most issues in the report are very likely to be in this potential category. There are also optional issues, which are an opportunity to take advantage of cloud capabilities, and informational, which are simply a notable dependency. No action is necessarily required. So now I'm going to jump into Visual Studio and give you a demo of the tool. So in Visual Studio, we have a sample app that has a lot of things that show up as interesting in the report for this demo. It's a basic eShop application. Most of the code is in this web app here, but we have a few helper libraries that go with it. As I mentioned before, there's the option to use the Visual Studio extension or the command line tool. I'm going to show you how to use the tool in VS. This gives you the best experience because in Visual Studio, we can interactively walk through a few different processes that you'll see as we go through this experience. If you're brand new to the tool, you'll have to get the extension in the VS Marketplace. I already have the tool installed, you can see. But you can also see that I have GitHub Copilot Chat installed. This is worth pointing out because if you have both of these, there is some integration between the two of them that's really nice to have, and I'll demo for you. Copilot Chat is not required, however, but you'll see some cool functionality light up because of it. So let's go ahead and open a new report. I'm going to right-click on my solution and select Replatform to Azure, and then open a new report. First, we have the option to choose which Azure environment to run on. Based on what you choose, we still run all the same rules, just adjust the severities and descriptions of those rules so that you get a report tailored to where you intend to be executing your app. If you don't know or you just want a general report like I do, you can select any. Next, we're gonna choose which project we wanna analyze. You only have to choose your top level web apps. You don't need to select dependencies. The tool will automatically assess these, but I'm just gonna select everything to be sure and continue on. Next is the components to analyze. The typical scenario is just analyzing the source code, but we also have the option to analyze binary dependencies, which is like NuGet packages, third-party DLL, stuff like that. This will give you a more complete scan if you have this box checked, but also potential for a lot of noise. So it's recommended that you just start with your source code because this will give you the highest priority issues and the ones that you have the most control over. For a more complete picture, you can always do a second scan with both boxes checked. Custom settings is an opportunity to provide a JSON config file that customizes the way that rules work. So here you can adjust which rules are considered important and even define your own custom rules. Let's go ahead and analyze. It should be super quick and then we'll get our dashboard view. So this dashboard is just a summary of our report. Here we can see the number of projects, the types of issues and number of individual incidents. Here we can see a pie chart comparing the severities of these incidents. If we have both Azure Migrate Code and Application Assessment Tool and Copilot installed, you can open Copilot Chat from the dashboard. This is the first part of that Copilot Chat integration that I was talking about, and it'll start a new conversation thread with Copilot. What it does is it's sharing the contents of my report and then asking Copilot to summarize which issues are the most important, and it'll help me guide how I want to address them. 
So I can have this conversation with Copilot where it'll help with next steps after I review the report. And even if I'm brand new to Azure, say I don't know what I'm doing, I can just pick a place to start. So it's telling me it identified a few issues in my app, database, file IO, logging issues, other issues. Let's just pick a place to start. Let's start, for example, with logging. So Copilot Chat is going to help me walk through these issues and then figure out how to best address them in an interactive way. Again, this is optional. If you don't have Copilot Chat, the tool still has full functionality. But if you do have Copilot, you get this really cool interactive experience. And it has all the context from my report. So it's basically a system expert on my migration because I've provided the context here for it. So we're going to wait to see what Copilot has to say. Cool, so it sees that we're using Log4Net and it gets that out of the report. And it's asking me to share my Log4Net config file. So when I share that, it will look through and say, hey, here's what we have to change for logging and then guide me through that step by step. But let's first look back at the report and explore more of these tabs here. First, I wanna to touch on story points, which are essentially a unitless measure of relative effort that we estimate it'll take to get these apps working in the cloud. They don't necessarily correspond to dev hours or days or anything quantifiable like that. It's just a way to compare things relatively. When grouped by project view, we can actually compare these across our projects. We can see that we have three and three and 27. So the majority of our story points are on our web app. So we can know that the bulk of our time is going to be spent on this one. So let's jump into this project. Now we can look at each individual projects with the project specific dashboard. So this is similar to the main dashboard, but it's scoped to the project. We can view now issues by component. We can view issues group by type. And then on the left here, we have aggregate issues, which is just for the whole solution. And this is group by type of issue. We can expand each of these for details on individual incidents. So let's look, for example, I see that this logging issue is mandatory, so I'm going to have to address that one. Let's jump on in and see what we have. So on the right, we have a summary of what the issue is about. So the tools detected logging to local or network paths. There's an explanation that I have to use logging that stores logs and locations outside of the host and then tells me that I can use Azure App Service logging or application insights and even recommends the log monitor tool. At the bottom here, we're gonna get a code snippet from the solution that shows where the dependency is and then some helpful links at the bottom. Now, if I don't know what to do with this, I can use Copilot Chat for these individual issues. So the Ask Copilot button for individual issues will give me targeted guidance on each of these issues if there's something I want to learn more about or just get Copilot's opinion on how to address. So this starts a new conversation thread specifically for this issue of the logging. This shares my issue description and the code snippet with Copilot, basically everything in this right hand pane here so that it can advise us. And look, now we get all this additional information from Copilot. So it's telling me this is a mandatory issue. To resolve it, you should consider using Azure's built-in logging. So it's telling me this is how you might modify your code to be able to do this. And it's giving me some great code snippets and step-by-step -step of where I would need to replace in my code. So say I don't know what my next steps are. I'm seeing that if I'm migrating to AKS, I can use the log monitor tool. What if I don't know how to include that? Let me ask Copilot. How do I include log monitor in my Docker file? And then it's going to spin up a response specifically about that question. And I can continue to have this back and forth with Copilot. So the real value here that I'm getting isn't just the help and the information. The real value, at least in my opinion, is that you can have a conversation and ask follow up questions. There's an opportunity to have the back and forth, ask clarifying questions, and it makes Copilot a really great partner for this replatforming process. So we see all this great information here. It's telling me I need to set up a config file and gives me some code snippets. So as a developer, I can feel really confident going through this replatform process that I know how to address all the issues in the report with the help of Copilot, even if I don't have specialized expertise in replatforming applications. So all you developers out there that might be going through replatforming of your apps, 
please give this tool a try and let us know your feedback. Thank you for your time, and I hope that this demo was helpful.